What's going on guys, it's Aaron Player here and today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can find the Chinook or Cargo Bob helicopter in GTA Online, not GTA 5 single player because uh, online it's very different and there are some set locations but there are some uh, kind of specific requirements that you need to meet before it will actually spawn. I've had a lot of questions regarding some of the aircraft and uh, things like vehicles like this in uh, GTA Online and wondering where they are such as I know where it is but why isn't it spawning and uh, people who don't know where it is to begin with but uh, here is the location it's down at the very very south point of the city it's in kind of the port or the loading area and uh, what you need to do is drive to this location that I'm showing you right here and uh, and then there'll be kind of like this Merryweather I think it's Merryweather some kind of private army that's around there but they won't be hostile to you they won't shoot you unless you shoot them and uh, they'll just let you on through drive up to the right side of this gate here and then it will open for you and uh, and then you can drive through and there'll be a helipad with the cargo bob waiting for you so what you actually need to do in order for the cargo bob to spawn for you is be level 22 and uh, and then then it will start spawning but it is not absolutely certain where it will spawn because sometimes depending on what rank you are i believe if you're around rank 30 the frogger helicopter starts to spawn and that will actually start replacing the cargo bob so i know this location for sure there should always be a cargo bob there but uh, in other locations where the cargo bob can spawn such as the airport and the sandy shores airstrip uh, sometimes there'll be a frogger there instead so it's not 100 percent every time it will be there but but this is a definite location and you can always find one there if you are level 22. So uh, with the cargo bob, if you didn't know, you can actually pick up vehicles. It's a very, very cool effect and uh, it has a hook that drops down much like in single player. And uh, you press right on the D-pad to drop the hook. And then after that, the hook will be hanging low and you can go pick up vehicles. You don't have to do anything. You just hover over them and it magically kind of links them up to the cargo bob and you can fly them around. And uh, But when you pick up the vehicle, you can press right again and drop them just like I did and uh, you can basically pick up vehicles and it makes it really really fun to do online and also tactically wise if you want to steal some vehicles or transport things really really quickly you can do that so that is the cargo of helicopter hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did then feel free to leave a like rating on this video and stay tuned to my channel definitely subscribe because I'll be showing you how to get the C-130 Titan plane and also the Annihilator and many other GTA Online and GTA 5 videos so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later Jump!